What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we've got some brand spanking new Destiny 2 news, courtesy of the Bungie weekly update that has just gone live, revealing official information. And so, let's get started. Now, first things first, what's been going on this week for Destiny 2? Well, on the Tuesday weekly reset, we had the launch of Act 2 of Episode 1 Echoes. So this was quite interesting because one of the things Bungie has sold us on as to why these are no longer seasons and they're, they're now called episodes is that they have a different cadence, whereas a season is maybe a bit more front-loaded or it has a decent amount of content in the front and then sprinkled throughout the season season, you maybe have some new stuff going live, but then you also kind of have like a big, big dead time near the end of the season. These episodes would be split into three different acts. Like not all the seasonal weapons would launch at the very beginning of the season. Act two is going to have some new weapons. Act three is going to have some new weapons, right? And so this was supposed to change things up. Well, now that Act 2 is actually here, we see that there are some new and interesting weapons. Certainly the one that is catching most people's attention is going to be the brand new Solar Rocket Sidearm. I did a video on that and this thing is incredible. Rocket Sidearms right now are very, very powerful and this one, I mean, could get Heal Clip Incandescent or several good rolls actually. And so this is absolutely like a, a really good addition to the meta and stuff like that. We also got the uh, brand new new exotic catalyst for the red death that improves an already incredible weapon again did a video on that like <laughs> that thing is also insane so we did get some interesting and decent injections of loot for sure but I think a lot of people were maybe expecting a bit more. The delves don't feel that much different and uh, overall the sentiment is basically like yeah it's still seasons. In fact, one particular tweet on the subject from popular streamer Glad gained a lot of traction with him saying, I'll say what others won't. Destiny's new episodes are just renamed seasons. It's way too similar cadence and model. It's a marketing tactic to rename things to spark excitement in an exhausted game. Destiny needs a complete restart, new everything, nothing carried over. And again, this has nearly a million views. A lot of people are interacting with that. Obviously, there's discussion on both sides, but it does seem like a huge amount of the community is just kind of underwhelmed with how Act 2 and how these episodes are currently going. But please, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you enjoy Act 2? Do you prefer episodes over seasons so far? Or do you think we're going to need to wait until we get Act 3 and so on to really see how these episodes shape up? But aside from that, uh, something else that happened is that Fallen Saber is the current Grandmaster Nightfall. This is actually one of the um, easiest and most farmable Grandmasters in the entire game. So I did a video on that again linked up above if you want uh, some suggestions for some great loadouts. You can head in there and start you know, going through that pretty darn fast, get some easy materials as well as get the new wild style grenade launcher, which is arguably like one of the best grenade launchers now it had its perks redone. So definitely check that out as well. But moving on from there, guys, let's get to the brand new information within the TWAB. So first of all, Bungie talks about the seventh column chaos PVP tournament currently ongoing, saying, Guardians, your support for the Bungie Foundation during this year's Bungie Day campaign has been tremendous. Already over $1.6 million has been raised. Now, this is still ongoing on their Twitch channel. And they say the Crucible action will be turned up to 11 with added chaos determined live by the audience of special guests from the world of Destiny appearing in studio. They ask people to mark their calendars for July 25th at 10 a.m. Pacific, and they say they're going to be rolling out their Wheel of Chaos once again, and a new toy will be debuting to really test if uh, we can stomach the chaos. What the heck? And there's, of course, there's going to be more chances to donate to that right there. Moving on from there, Bungie has announced that they're partnering with GCX, and they're going to be attending the GCX event this year in Orlando, Florida on August 16th and 17th. 
DMG and Cosmo will be there and they say GCX will be offered a shared dream emblem for anyone who donates $60 to St. Jude's uh, Children's Research Hospital during the charity marathon that runs until July 19th and you can uh, have more information on how to donate within the 12 which of course is linked in the description of this video video guys moving on from there they say that's not it gcx will also be offered two playable destiny 2 experiences that will test your pvp skills along with a few thousand rewards to sweeten the deal first up any players at the event who volunteer to venture into the crucible will be awarded this gambit uh med medallion a long treasured keepsake from events past that hasn't been available in several years they then say we'll harken back to a previous GCX event and give you a choice to make. You can cling to your newfound reward and hold it close forever or risk it in the fiery crucible for something shinier. Attendees at the event can play again and drop their token in the bowl for a chance to win this very special crucible pin and only if they emerge victorious. All right, pretty interesting. Moving on from there, there's also going to be the GCX 3v3 challenge presented by the Bungie Foundation. You can see the information to this as well as uh, the different teams that are going to be present for this event. A lot of big streamers on this. But moving on from there, we have the next Bungie Bounty starting on July 23rd. They say, what if you can't attend GCX? Well, we have another community-driven celebration planned, the Bungie Bounty. You know the drill. We select a few creators from all over the planet and have them play in a specific time slot. Then those of you matching with them will have a chance to earn the very exclusive Aurora Clash emblem pictured right here. They go on to say, Bungie bounties are focused on ritual activities, Vanguard Ops, Crucible, or Gambit. If you help a creator complete a Vanguard Ops, you win the emblem. If you jump into PvP or Gambit to get the bounty, this could go one of two ways. First of all, you'll help the creators win the match if you are on their team, or you'll be part of the opposing team and defeat them to get that emblem. And they say we'll be watching closely, so be extra nice no matter what. They then say the Bungie Bounty will be running for three weeks this time, so you'll have plenty of opportunities to match up and get that sweet emblem. And then Bungie provides graphics breaking down which creators are going to be playing on which days. So you can see week one is present right here. Then after that, we have week two. And then finally, guys, we have week three. And then they provide one big graphic overall just showcasing uh, what's going on the three different weeks of this Bungie Bounty program. Moving on from there, guys, uh, they have something else interesting going on saying, show us your builds. Uh, with the brand new seasonal artifact mods, they say that you can tweet out your build and then tag it with hashtag build of the week and they say, if we can find it, we'll select your submission and you can even get a very limited emblem as well. So that's pretty interesting. Now, after that, guys, uh, the last thing we're going to be talking about here is something very interesting happening next week. So they say there's something going on with Master Raid challenges. Over the last few weeks, we've been investigating an issue where Master Challenges in the Salvation's uh, Edge Raid were not being tracked upon completion by the Ignited Light Triumph. While we issued a fix on Tuesday this week to further prevent this issue, we were unable to retro actively credit players with previous completions. This has been one of the rougher bugs to come by as the difficulty experienced in these encounters is grand and raid challenges are only available one at a time on a weekly schedule. So to make up for this guys, starting July 23rd, which is next Tuesday, the upcoming Tuesday, all master challenges will be active for one week until July 30th before maintenance time. This will provide an opportunity for all to earn their Turmoil Engine Sparrow, acquire their Ionoclast title, and earn some additional adept weapons along the way. So actually kind of a big deal if you're someone who is dabbling with master raid challenges like next week. All of them are available. That's a bunch of extra loot. That's a bunch of extra, you know, uh, triumphs and all that stuff available for just one single run, potentially one run. You could get all of them done. So that is definitely something to know about. 
And so guys, that is gonna be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.